Because one of the most common questions that I get and a lot of lawn care uh, educators get is, uh, will grass germinate in the spring? How long does it take? I think this is an oddball answer because people who are really into lawn care know that the spring is not the best time to put grass seed down, although it will germinate. Most casual lawn owners want to put grass seed down in the spring to thicken up their, their lawn uh, because they didn't like the way that it performed last year or uh, the, uh, they don't like the way that it looks coming out of winter. So uh, it's a competing sort of a thing. If you get into lawn care for a handful of seasons, you're never gonna be, you're rarely going to be putting grass seed down in the spring. But the very first time you ever get into lawn care, right now, you want to put grass seed down in the spring. So to answer your question directly, yes, grass seed will germinate in the spring. It will germinate much slower than it will germinate in the fall. The fall is the best time to do it. But in the springtime, it germinates slowly because soil, the, the, the dirt in the ground, is cooler than the air. Usually in the fall, the air is cooler than the dirt. So that's why the fall is a better time to plant grass seed, but during the spring, if you put grass seed down, just expect it to be on the slower end of the spectrum for germination. So long as you can put that grass seed down on prepared soil and keep it moist um, the way that you're supposed to when you germinate grass seed, in ideal conditions, perennial rye will germinate in five days. In springtime, depending on your temperatures, assuming your temperatures are fine, you should expect uh, perennial rye to germinate more in that 10 to 12 day range. Kentucky bluegrass optimally, optimally will germinate in about nine to 10 days. In the springtime, it might take three weeks to germinate. Tall fescue might germinate in seven days in an optimal scenario. In the springtime, it might take 15 to 16 days. Now, if you're talking about a warm season grass, Bermuda grass and buffalo grass, zoysia, things like that, these tend to take a little bit longer to germinate in the ideal scenario relative to cool season grasses. So if you're gonna be putting down these grass seeds in the springtime, it's even a slower process. And that's because these are warm season grasses and they don't want to germinate when soil temperature is 55 degrees. They wanna wait until the soil temperature is 75 to 80 degrees, which is why these seeds are put down at the end of spring going into summer if they're put down at all. Most people put down sod or plugs for warm season grass. So seed isn't really the, uh, the go-to for warm season grass plantings. If you are gonna put down a cool season grass seed in the spring, make sure to do it after your temperatures, like the low overnight temperatures, the stuff that happens at dawn. If those temperatures are up into the 40s, then it's gonna germinate a, a, a lot better than if those overnight temperatures are dropping down into the 20s. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't put it down early. The earlier you put it down, the better it's gonna be to get that cool season grass to grow through the summer. You might be able to get it to germinate in the spring, but because it's a, such a short window of time before you've got like 15 hour days and 95 degree uh, summer temperatures, that most of the cool season grass is going to die off during the summer if you wait too long. So if you are gonna plant cool season grass seed in the spring, do it on the earlier part of the spring and expect it to take longer. I've got a lot of experience growing grass, growing grass from seed. Take a look at the video up here. It's all about how to grow grass from seed. Pretty much all you need to know, <laughs> crazy duck, pretty much all you need to know for uh, getting started.